All right, Point Nation, have you ever wondered how different a painting would be depending on how you stack the paint in the cup? So what we've done here is we have taken uh, these colors, we have done four cups. This first cup here, I did very thin layers, and I did three thin layers, three sets of thin layers of each of the five colors. This next cup, I did one layer of each color, and it is a thick layer of each color. The next one here, I did a thin layer of all five colors and then a thick layer of all five colors on top. And the last one, I did a thick layer of all five colors and then a thin layer of all five colors at the top. So you can see the difference. And now we're just gonna pour them out and figure out which one we like best. And it's not necessarily which one we like best, it's which one works the best for what you're trying to achieve with your painting. So let's move these off. The first one I'd like to do is the all large. So this is four, one large layer of each color. The next one we're going to do the thin layer on every one. The next one is a thick layer, a thick layer of each and a thin layer of each. And the next is a thin layer of each and then a thick layer of each. All right, so let's look at the differences here. This was the thick layer on everything. The only big difference that I see is the outside, especially this outside red, is very prominent. And the outside um, dark blue and the outside teal color is very prominent. Now that's fine with a pour like this because we're gonna, we're gonna stretch out the middle and the outside is really gonna be shifted off. So having the big, the big layers like that is just fine. Now this was the very small layers. You'll notice this got the most color mixing out there. And then this one had the big layers with the small layers on top. So as you can see the big layers, because we had the big layers on the bottom, I get kind of the bigger colors on the outside. And this had the small layers on the bottom, the big layers on top. There's not a whole lot of difference and I want to explain why. Because I use paints, these paints, had a lot of white in them. And it's generally the titanium white that they that we use. Well, I put titanium white in them, so they're heavier. So those paints sunk as the cup was sitting. So as I poured them out, those paints end up on the bottom almost every time. You see that light color gets close to the bottom every time. And that's because those paints are thicker. Lots of different things are gonna affect how your painting looks. I personally like the small layers best. I think it mixes the color the most and I get the most effects. But if you want to layer a few uh, small layers first and then do the big layers, you can still get some pretty nice color combinations in the middle and the outside you're just gonna dump off anyways. So just to finish it off, I am going to tilt these, paint, tilt these paintings out. So this is where you get a better idea. These are the two that had the, this has had all big to start with. This had big to start with, small on top. This had small to start with, big on top. This had all small. And you notice when we started flat, tilting the paint off, there's just so much more of the color in the middle. That's why I don't like to use big layers to begin with. I like small layers to begin with because that's what's gonna come out of the cup last and therefore I get the colors that come in. Overall, I love this painting. Another thing I highly recommend you learn is how to layer opaque and transparent paints, and I explain exactly how to do that in this video here.